Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, Tigna Tattoo. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so well. Thank you so much for joining us here. I'm so glad to be introduced to you, and I want my audience to know that you're a Grammy, Grammy Award-nominated star, and you are also the author of I'm Just a Person, so thank you for joining us. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, you know, you've got some interesting things in your life. You've got this, what do we call it, a, a tromedy? I, I guess that's what people are calling it. Um, I think it's, you know, it's a half hour drama, comedy. I think there's a lot of heartfelt, emotional moments. And yeah, I'm, I think it's got a really nice tone to it. Okay, so is it a reality show of your life? Explain it to us, uh, what's going on on Amazon Prime for those of us who don't have that Prime membership. It is not a reality show. It's uh, a scripted uh, TV series that I star in, and there are people that play characters from my life that are real or fictional, and it's, um, it's based on a time period when I had cancer and my mother was dying, and uh, I was going through a breakup, and uh, I move home to Mississippi to... Um, heal physically and emotionally during that time and uh and i kind of have to just get to know my family my life my surroundings in a whole new way after everything that's happened and then beyond the first episode my uh story gets more fictionalized and so as as, as your life plays out is this for you to learn something or to experience something because the universe comes to teach us. It is a show for me to learn something? Yes, for you. Um, yeah, I think I can't help but learn from it. I uh, <clears throat> just with going through all those experiences and then um, writing about it and, um, and reenacting certain moments from it. I can't help but learn. Uh, one of the things that I learned a lot, I think, was about my mother, um, writing about her. She appears in the series in flashbacks and in um, moments where I just imagine her being there still. And uh, I, I think that it was really helpful to for me and therapeutic for me to write about my mother and dig deeper into where she was coming from in life. Well, it says also, too, uh, some of the press that I saw on it, it says that uh, it's a hilarious journey that unearths comfortable truth about you and your family. So you bring your family into this, so does this become a big experience for you? Uh, you can't say for them, but does this become a bigger experience for you as you go back home and you see your life on pages every day, and then you see people acting or saying words, and you know what the word is going to be next, in a sense, because you wrote this, you lived this. How's that experience? Well, the writers on the TV show and the actors are so exceptional uh, that it's really chilling and haunting to see these moments that whether they happened or fictionalized, it's, it's really spectacular. And, um, and uh, some of the most emotional moments of the show 
never even happened, but um, in real life, but it was still interactions that I was having with my mother that were extremely emotional for me. And uh, but it's 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 thrilling to uh, to be a part of a process and writing these scripts that people really responded to that. Um, uh, it, it, I just, I'm, I'm really very proud of it, and it was, it was thrilling to, to see it all unfold. Well, a lot has happened to you, and I heard you say in the beginning, you said, when I had breast cancer. Tell me about that in your life, when you had breast cancer. Well, I mean, I had breast cancer actually at a time that I also had an intestinal disease. So I was unable to eat food. Um, and uh, it was, it was a really scary time because um, I was deteriorating and I didn't really see that I was going to live through that, um, e either of those things. And, um, and to have my doctor come in and tell me that my prognosis was good after surgery and going through my treatment um, and to be able to years later have a television show uh, when I'm happy and healthy and thriving is beyond what I could have ever imagined for myself. I just have one more question for you, Kate. What got you through all of this going on, your mother and, and, and various conditions and various diseases? What got you through that? What made you come out on the other side? Because everybody doesn't come out on the side of life. <laughs> I, I know that for sure. Um, uh, I, you know what? I, uh, <laughs> I wish I knew what got me through. I know that... I had a lot of determination. I had a lot of support from friends and family. I had tremendous doctors, and um, I uh, I was on very rigid uh, diets, and um, I think I had a lot of hope, uh, and I still do. I think that I always lean towards positive thinking and. I, I believe that things will come around, and uh, I think it's just a natural part of me. And, and I also think there was a stroke of luck in there as well, and I'm, I'm very yeah. aware. You're very aware. Well, you're on Amazon Prime, so you're doing pretty good there, I would think, at this moment in time. <laughs> I'm doing very well. I'm so glad that you're able to say that. I'm glad you're here to tell your story. And we will watch you on when we know Amazon Prime. When you want us to watch us, is it at your at your leisure? Yeah. Well, it 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 uh, premieres this Friday, September 9th, and you can watch all episodes. They all stream this Friday on Amazon. Okay. And the title of your show? One Mississippi. One Mississippi. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming on, Tenero. You are life embodied in the best of what we can all be. Thank you. Oh, thank you.